Okay, let's come to our mat, starting with a seated meditation. And we're gonna just learn a little bit the about the chakras in our seated meditation. I'll explain a little bit about them. And I hope you can just really visualize what I'm saying, maybe even when I describe some feelings that are related with the chakras, some memories will come up or how you can relate it to yourself. Um, so just really go inside and just focus on what I'm saying. So we're coming to a comfortable seat. It can be whatever comfortable seat you prefer. Close your eyes. Enter your body. Connecting your mind with your body and your body with your breath. Just starting to connect with your breath at the beginning of our seated meditation. Making sure your heart is right above your hips that you have a nice, long, straight spine. First, let's talk about what the chakras actually are. So today we're gonna go over the seven main chakras, which are on the length of your spine, from the root of your spine, in your sacrum, all the way to the top of your head, at your crown, seven chakras. Each chakra is a sphere of energy located at a specific point aligned the spine. And each chakra channels different things, different elements, colors, feelings, Slowly, I'll start to go over each one, one by one. And really just visualize that in your mind. Visualize it along your spine. When we connect to the chakras, when we work on them, we can find amazing benefits to our physical, mental, and emotional health. So I really, really recommend working on them, learning about them. Even if you are a little bit skeptical, just reading about them can be interesting. Learning about the energy in the universe and in your body. So we'll start with the root chakra, which is located at the bottom of the spine, all the way at the bottom, almost like past the sacrum, you're sitting on it. So. So really just imagine it at the bottom of the spine. It's a red sphere of energy circling in that area. The element is earth, so it should feel heavy. You should feel it in your sit bones, the energy there circling. And it's related to your survival related to your family, your shelter, your money, your safety, your stability, all these feelings. Take a moment to just think about that. Imagining this red sphere of energy at the bottom of your spine. Thinking about any feelings, sensations, memories that can relate to your survival. and your stability. From here, we'll move a little bit more up the spine. If you can imagine maybe below the belly button, equivalent to your spine, around the sacrum. This is the sacral chakra. The color is orange. The element is water. So it should feel like a bowl of water is located there. Every movement you make, the water is flowing. We'll continue with that in our practice, but just imagining this orange sphere of energy right above the red sphere. It's related to your emotions, 
any pleasures, anything enjoyable in your life, every sensation you get that makes you feel something, it's all stored there in that chakra. Anything that makes you feel good. Just taking a moment, just imagining that orange sphere above the red sphere. Right above that, equivalent to about three fingers above your belly button on the spine, we'll get to the solar plexus. The solar plexus color is yellow. So you can imagine now a big yellow sphere of energy rotating on that spot on your spine. The element is fire here and it's connected to your power, to your courage, to your willpower to stand for what you believe in, to do what you wanna do. So just imagine that sphere for a moment. We've gone through the red, orange, and now we're at the yellow. Traveling a little bit up higher, we'll get to the heart chakra, my favorite chakra. It should be right in the center of your chest, equivalent in the same spot on your spine. The color is green, so you can imagine now a green energy sphere in the back of your upper back, in the middle. The element is air, wind. So as we speak about this chakra and when we go to the postures in this chakra, just feel the air flowing in and out of this area freely. It's connected to nature, mother nature always giving, never expecting anything in return. Related to love, to giving love and being loved in return without asking for it. It's just present. Traveling a little bit higher, we get to the throat chakra. The color is blue. So you can now imagine blue energy sphere located at your throat. The element here is sound or ether. So it's connected to your communication, how you communicate, how you express yourself. If you're speaking your truth. While we travel through all these chakras, really feel sensations, if anything is blocked or open. And imagine your sphere also becoming smaller and bigger, seeing maybe if you can connect so much to your chakras that it's speaking to you in return and telling you what you should work on more. Or maybe there's something you already know you want to work on, so you can focus on that chakra specifically. Here we'll move up to the third eye chakra. The color is indigo, a deep blue purple color. The element is light. The color is purple, so imagine this purple energy sphere located at your third eye. It's related to clarity, to your sight, how you see the world. If you're seeing it for how it truly is, or from a different perspective, it's related to your intuition and your imagination, your creativity. Thinking about this purple sphere for a moment. And the last chakra is the crown chakra, located at the top of your head. The color is purple, so you can imagine this big purple sphere. The element
element is space or higher consciousness, spirit, connects to wholeness, to feeling whole, to feeling connected to everything around you, every single thing, every object, every person, everything is connected. You can now take a moment to just imagine every color sphere, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple, aligning on your spine Breathing deeply, just feeling their energy. See if thinking about this even makes you feel taller, makes you feel like your spine is longer and more aligned. Now that we've covered the basics of the chakras, let's enter our practice. And slowly start to open your eyes. We'll start with the root chakra, the base. Bringing your hands to your knees, just circling around, warming up the spine. Feeling the energy move freely from the base of your spine and outwards. Everything starts from the base of your spine. Kundalini, they say the serpent lives at the base chakra, the root chakra. So we like to add movement here to awaken the serpent of the spine and allow the energy to create a domino effect to the rest of the chakras. Change direction. Really feel your sit bones as the start of your movement, as the beginning of your movement. It's all coming from your base, from your sit bones, from your seat. Inhale the hands up. Feel this nice long spine. Intertwine your fingers and invert them. Feel the energy starting from your sit bones and shooting up towards your fingertips. The head is neutral here. Inhale, reach the arms a little bit higher, creating more space in the spine. Exhale, come to the right. Look towards the left, little side bend here. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, come to the left, look towards the right. Inhale, back to center, twist towards the right with the whole upper body. Inhale, back to center, exhale, twist towards the left. Coming back to center, lower down the hands slowly. And we'll come into a yogi squat, bringing the feet in front of you. Making sure the toes are aligned with the knees, bringing the hands in between the knees to allow us to open our chest, find more length in our spine. If it's more comfortable, you can do this also against a wall to really feel your spine long and straight. If you're doing it up against the wall, make sure your whole back is against the wall. It should feel really nice. For an extra comfort added to this pose, you can sit on a pillow as well or a block. Whatever you chose in your variation of the yoga, yogi squat, really feel your feet rooting into the ground. Feel the energy of your body heavy, sinking with your hips down towards the ground. The energy is low here, feeling rooted, feeling earthy, connecting to our root chakra. Feeling the power in our legs, keeping us stable, power in your toes, your whole base being activated and ignited. From here, we'll move our hands to the ground and add a little bit of movement like we like to do, especially in this chakra class. We wanna keep the energy flowing, allowing the energy to flow freely in and out of the chakra. 
In and out of that energy point. From here we'll move to a tabletop. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the waist. Starting to enter the next chakra, the sacral chakra. So in all these postures that we'll do focused on this chakra, I want you to really feel like water, allowing your body to move however it pleases, letting the energy flow. So we'll enter a cat cow. If you have any back pain, just don't go too deep in your arch. Keep it nice and neutral, just pressing on the hands. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push on your hands. Back arches all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Adding a couple of circular motions of the spine here. Connecting to this water-like nature. Changing direction. We'll slowly move back to a child's pose, but an active one. So we'll stay on our toes, and we'll also stay on our fingertips. Taking a moment here in this active child's pose. On your next inhale, you're gonna come all the way forward into a cobra. Again, any back pain, you don't have to sink the belly to the ground, just coming forward with a nice strong straight spine, or sinking, opening the heart forward, looking up, inhale. Exhale, come back to your active child's pose. Inhale, rounding the spine, and the chest forward. Exhale, come back to your child's pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to do these at your own pace, with your own variations. If anything feels better to you, just connecting to whatever movement your body wants in these postures. On the next exhale, we'll meet in our child pose. And inhale, we're gonna bring the right leg all the way forward to lizard pose. The hand, the foot will be on the outside of your hands. So we have a nice wide angle here. You can bring the leg out as much as you need to towards the right. And again, we'll enter some movements here with the hips down and up. You can stay on your hands or you can come to your elbows if you have any wrist pain. Just letting that energy flow freely out of your sacrum, out of your pelvis, connecting to that orange energy, that orange water-like nature. Connecting to any emotions that come out, any sensations you get from these deep stretches. Then we'll slowly come back up on our hands. Bring our leg back. Exhale, take a moment in your active child's pose. And come forward, inhale, bring the left leg out to the outside of your hands. Coming into movement in our lizard pose. Again, you can stay on your hands or come down to your elbows. Moving however you feel is right for you right now.
If you haven't changed direction, change direction if you're doing circles. And on your next exhale, back into your active child's pose. Inhale, look forward, come onto your hands. Exhale, come back into a downward dog, lifting the hips up towards the sky. Feet are hips distance or more if you need to. Hands are shoulder distance. And bring your weight back. Again, feel free to make any variations your body is telling you to make. And add any movements here as well. It's our first downward dog, so we want to feel really nice and warmed up in our hamstrings, in our shoulders. We'll walk our feet all the way to our hands and inhale slowly come back up to an upward hand pose exhale bring your hands down to the center of your body and we'll stop right above our belly button taking a moment to connect to our solar plexus Again, the element is fire here, so we're about to fire up a bit, doing some sun salutations. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, come down to the ground, forward fold. If you need to make any variations, if you want to practice with a chair or against the wall, all is welcome. Head to knees, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Drop your hands to the ground, hold your breath, walk back to a plank. Take a moment in your plank. Take a deep breath here, activating the power at your center, at your solar plexus, feeling the fire. Gonna lean forward all the way. Feel free to do this with knees on the ground or legs up. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows stay close to the body. Inhale up dog on the toes of your feet exhale down dog take one deep breath here moving the weight towards your feet try to externally rotate your shoulders here see if that helps you with the weight on your hands and feel less strain on your wrist look forward Walk big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, head to knee. Always feel free to bend your knees here if you want to work more with a straight spine. And inhale up. Exhale to heart center. We'll do one round of sun B. Inhale, hands come forward, hips drop, coming into chair pose. Make sure the spine is long and straight and we're not arching too far in a back bend. Let's spread the fingertips really wide for this round of sun salutations, making sure the energy is flowing freely from our center and out through our extremities. So inhale, look at your spread wide fingertips in your chair pose. Exhale, come down to the ground forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold your breath, bring your hands to the ground, come back to plank. Again, holding for a moment here, activating your power at your center. Feel free to take another deep inhale. Look forward, coming to your chaturanga, exhale. Elbows stay close to the body. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Gonna lift that right leg up towards the sky in between your hands. Feel free to spread your legs at a wider angle if you need to uh, make room <laughs> or feel more stable. We're gonna stay on the tops of our toes on our left back leg. Inhale the hands up, coming to a high lunge. Make sure your knees above your ankle on your front leg and that you're not arching in the lower back. Tuck that pelvis forward, activate your core, hug your ribs towards the center. Beautiful high lunges. Feel free to look at your fingertips as well or stay looking forward. 
Inhale, the hands a little bit higher. Long spine. Exhale, we're going to twist towards the right with our hands. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist towards the right. Hands come to shoulder height. Inhale, center. Exhale. Adding some twists here. Really connected to the solar plexus. Adding fire. Working on our metabolism. Again, you can do this at your own pace, maybe faster or slower. Connecting to your breath. Inhale back to center, we'll meet at our high lunge. Exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Walk that right foot back, coming into your plank. Hold the plank for a moment. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply, lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Gonna lift that left leg up towards the sky now, and in between the hands. Stay on those back toes, knees above the ankle and the front leg. Inhale, the hands up. Again, adjust yourself as needed, making sure your knees still above your ankle, and you're not arching in the lower back. Feeling a nice deep stretch in your, in your hip flexor right now, on your back leg. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen in the spine a little bit more, hands come up a bit higher. Exhale, twist towards the left. Hands come to shoulder height. Inhale, hands up, look forward. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, forward. Exhale, look towards your left hand. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Doing a couple more at your own pace. Still connecting to your breath. Next inhale, we'll meet in high lunge. Exhale, drop the hands toward the ground. Come back to plank, hold your plank. Deep breath. Look forward, inhale deeply. Exhale, come down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking a moment, deep breath here. <sighs> forward, walk the feet, big toe to big toe. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands come up, bend the knees into your chair pose. Look towards your fingertips. Hold for a moment. And inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Take a moment to just feel the heat and energy rushing through your body, activating that solar plexus chakra, connecting to the fire within you, to your willpower, to your courage, to stand up for yourself, to stand up for your beliefs. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Taking a moment here to connect to the next chakra, the heart chakra. Again, the color is green. Connecting to love. To who you love. To what you love. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, spread the feet of hips distance or maybe a bit wider if that's more comfortable. Bringing the hands behind our, behind our backs and interlacing them. 
Inhale, deeply open the heart forward, let the head fall back. Exhale, come forward into a forward fold with this added shoulder stretch. The shoulders are connected to the heart chakra, so we really want to open those up as well. Just let the hands fall overhead. Again, you can bend the knees if you want to work more here more on the straight spine. Or just keep the legs straight and allow the weight of your body and your hands to fall overhead. One more deep breath. On the next exhale, bring your hands to the ground in front of you. And bring that left leg all the way back. We're gonna come into Anjaniyasana, a little lunge here. If you need any extra support for your knee, you can put a blanket or a small pillow there. Inhale, slowly come up. Again, feel free to widen your angle here with your legs if you need to. And bring your hands onto your knee. Taking a moment here before we bring our hands up. Make sure our hips are tucked forward like we did in our high lunge and not leaning too much forward and going into the lower back. I want to take care of that lower back. So just keep the hips tucked forward, feeling the stretch in your hip flexor on your left back leg now at the top of your thigh. You can stay here or on the next inhale, come up with your hands towards the sky, opening the heart forward opening the upper back while still maintaining a strong lower back and core. You should feel no strain in your lower back. Breathing deeply here. Looking up towards your fingertips or in front of you for extra balance. And slowly exhale back down to the ground, coming into a half splits for a moment, flexing that right leg. You can stay up here on your fingertips or if you need extra support on two things that are a bit higher, maybe like blocks or chairs. Or you can come all the way down head to knee, still flexing in that right leg. Bring the weight forward, coming to your foot. Bringing that right leg back to meet that left leg. We're gonna take a puppy pose here in between sides. Again, feel free to stay up in a tabletop if you have any lower back pain, or you can maybe do it against the wall and slowly do it without any feeling back pain. If we're in our puppy pose, in our tabletop, we're gonna bring our hands a little bit forward and forward. You can do this with a wide angle in the legs too and stay on your elbows or knees together. Hips stay high and slowly lowering little by little until your heart touches the ground. You can stay with your chin on the ground or your forehead. Breathe deeply here, feeling your heart connected to the earth, connected to your floor. Deeply opening your shoulders and your whole front body. Make sure you're still breathing deeply. Finding comfortable within the uncomfortable. Slowly come back up to your tabletop and we'll switch sides. Bring that left leg forward and coming up onto that knee. Again, if you need support for that right knee now, feel free to do so. Taking a moment with the hands on the knees, feeling our long straight spines, not, not arching the back, coming into a back bend, tilting those hips forward, feeling the stretch on our upper right thigh. Right thigh. Right thigh. 
Inhale, the hands come up. Look towards your fingertips. Open that heart forward and that upper body without entering the lower back. Slowly on your exhale, drop your hands to the ground. Straighten that left leg, flex the left leg, and exhale, head to knee. One last deep breath here in your half splits. And we're gonna come forward onto our hands, meet in down dog, and walk forward. Inhale, rise the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna practice two balanced postures right now, focusing on back strength, opening the heart. Bringing that right leg up, towards your inner thigh. You're gonna come into tree pose. You can choose also to bring your right foot to your left shin or stay on the ground and uh, just press against your ankle. You can also do this up against the wall if you need any help with your uh, balance today. If not, we'll bring it to our inner thigh. Make sure the right knee is outwards without twisting the upper body. The upper body is still forward. Then hands come to our center. You can focus on one point on the floor in front of you to help you with your balance, your drishti. Inhale, the hands slowly come back up. And instead of connecting them, we'll open them on your exhale behind you, opening the heart forward. Again, we're separating this from our upper back and our lower back. Our lower back should be stable, our core should be activated ribs hugging inwards, and our upper back and our hearts are reaching forward. Beautiful. Connecting to your tree, to your open heart. And exhale, hands back to heart center. Inhale, the right knee comes up. And exhale, we're gonna bring it behind us, preparing us for dancer pose. Taking a moment with both of our hands and our foot, feeling a nice, strong, straight body, weight over our left leg, our standing leg. Feeling a nice deep quad stretch in the right thigh. And slowly we'll bring our right hand to our inner right foot by our big toe. Bring that left hand up towards the sky. Inhale, reach that hand, long straight spine. Exhale, start to lean forward. Active left hand. Kicking your right foot into your right hand, coming into a dancer pose. Feel your heart reaching forward as well. Don't sink in the heart. Connecting here to our heart chakra and balance. As we lean, we're also pushing with our leg into our hand. As we love, we are also loved in return. And slowly come back to center, drop that right leg, hands to heart center, preparing us for the other side. Starting with tree, grounding in the right foot, Left leg comes to thigh or shin or floor. Again, you can come next to a wall if you need to. Hands to heart center, focusing on your one point, helping you balance. And inhale the hands up. And exhale, hands come behind you, opening the heart while still maintaining a strong core, strong lower back. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, lift that left knee up towards you. Exhale, leg comes behind you. Take a moment here to enter a nice quad stretch. Pulling that foot towards you. And slowly bring that left hand towards your inner left foot by the big toe. Right hand by your right ear. Inhale, lengthen, reach up towards the sky, long spine. Exhale, reach forward. Kick into your left hand. Coming into your dancer pose, feeling your heart radiate forward. Slowly come back to center. Drop that left leg. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, we're gonna reach down all the way down to the ground and come to a seated pose in our toe stretch. Knees together, heels together, sitting on our toes. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, hands stop at the throat, connecting to our throat chakra now. Gonna take a deep inhale and exhale out the mouth, creating a sound, whatever sound you want to make and feeling your thumbs pressed up against your throat, feeling the vibration of that sound. One more time, inhale deeply, exhale. The color here is blue, connecting to sound and ether, connecting to your communication, how you communicate with people, how you communicate with yourself. Are you expressing yourself truly? Are you holding anything back? See if you feel any blockages here. And try to release them, allowing the energy to flow in and out freely. Bring your hands to your thighs, the back of your hands to your upper thighs, pressing against your thighs, creating a nice active straight arm here. And entering a circle towards the right with your neck. Again, in the chakra, allow any sounds to come out that your body wants it to. A lot of the time, things happen like when we get scared and our body will release a sound like, <gasps> or things happen and we don't release a sound. So if you can imagine when stressful things happen and you just wanna scream and you're not letting it out, where it gets stored in the body and how you can release it. You don't wanna store these negative experiences in the body. It's always important to flow through these movements, allowing the energy to flow freely out. Close your eyes while you're doing these circles to the right. And see what's happening with your inner voice now. I'm sure it's screaming at you to get out of this posture because your feet hurt. But see if you can quiet it down a bit. You can control that inner voice, that inner ego that always likes to put us down. make things harder. Just finding this silence in your head. Just connecting to your breath. Always when you connect to your breath and you think about your breath, that inner voice starts to quiet down. And come back to center. We'll do the opposite pose right now, coming onto our toes, knees still together. Coming onto our fingertips and lifting the knees, going into an ankle stretch now. And we'll circle the head to the left.
slowly come back into your Vajrasana pose, knees on the ground. Just take a moment to feel the stretch on both sides of your neck. Inhale, bring the right hand up to your left ear, stretching the neck toward the right side for a moment. And release. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand to right ear. Deep stretch on the right side of your neck. And release. Inhale, both hands up. Interlace your fingers and place it at the bottom of your skull on the back of your head. And bring your head toward your chest, creating an energy lock here at the throat chakra. Observing that sacred energy. Really feeling this nice deep stretch on the back of your neck. And release. Taking a moment to look up. No need to go too far. Just looking up, opening that throat again. Coming back to center, we're gonna open our knees to hips distance and inhale, come up. We're gonna enter the camel posture. Feel free to work here with a straight back, just inhaling the hands up, lengthening the back and coming down or working on our back bend. We're gonna do one side at a time and then both of them. Inhale, the right hand comes up. Exhale, bring the right hand to your right um, heel. Left hand comes up towards the sky. Look up towards your left hand. The movement here is forward. Lean forward into your body as if you want to hit a wall with your stomach right in front of you. Don't lean towards your heel. You can also do this against the wall if you really want to feel that. Keeping your whole leg against the wall, bringing your belly towards the wall. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, relax. Inhale, the left hand comes up. Exhale, bring that left hand to your left heel. Right hand up towards the sky, look up towards your right hand. Breathe deeply, bring the weight of your body forward. Slowly come back to center, inhale. Exhale, release. Last time, we'll do both sides. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, bringing the hands one at a time to your feet, to your heels. Let the head relax back and let the weight of the body come forward. You can imagine a bright blue, blue light of energy shooting out of your throat here. Connecting to that throat chakra. And slowly come back up, one hand at a time. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, come back down towards the ground. Knees back together, heels back together in our Vajrasana posture. Going to inhale the hands up. Exhale, stop with the thumbs at your third eye. Touching lightly onto your third eye. Connecting to that third eye chakra, the color is indigo. Connecting to your sight and how you see the world. Your clarity for things. If you're seeing things for how they truly are or how society wants you to see them, Connecting to your intuition and 
that powerful wisdom that speaks to you. Slowly bring the hands forward, straight in front of you and look at your thumbs. See how clearly you can see your thumbs and how everything that surrounds your thumbs is a bit blurry. And now look to your surroundings beyond your thumbs and see how your thumbs become blurry. The challenge is to be able to see both with clarity, see both so clearly for how they truly are without any blurriness or screens or perceptions. Slowly lower the hands back down towards the ground. Widen your knees to a wide, as wide as your mat. We're gonna come down to a wide child's pose. Feel free to use any cushions or pillows that will help you feel more comfortable. Or we'll slowly lower our chest to the ground. And we want to rest our third eye onto the ground, feeling pressure here on our third eye connecting to it. If you can't go lower and you want to be on a pillow, you can just rest your third eye on your palms, just feeling a bit of pressure on your third eye. to come up, cross your legs in between, and come onto your back. Feet will stay on the ground, knees bent. Inhale, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, connect your thumb and your pinky and create this crown with your fingertips and place it on the top of your head. Connecting to that last chakra, the crown chakra. So it should feel like you're placing a crown at the top of your head. And just imagine this thousand petal lotus flower, how strong its energy is, how powerful it is, how beautiful it is. every petal revealing its potential to you, its potential of the universe. Connecting to that last chakra, the color is purple. Connecting to your higher consciousness, to your spirit, to your soul. And slowly release your hands. We'll enter the shoulder stand posture. If you're uncomfortable coming into inversions right now, you can just stay lying on the floor. You're gonna inhale the, head, the legs up to 90 degrees. Exhale, bring the feet towards you, lifting the hips up slowly. And inhale, lift your hips up higher, bringing your hands to your lower back. Coming into shoulder stand. Try not to move your neck here. There's a lot of pressure on the shoulders. We want to find this nice straight line, feeling the energy flow to our crown. Connecting to everything around us. feeling completely whole. And slowly come down vertebrae by vertebrae. And we'll enter the fish posture, our last pose before Shavasana. Legs come forward and are straight. 
Coming up onto our elbows for a moment and dropping our head back. You can stay here on your elbows and just letting the head fall behind you. Or you can scoot the hips back and get that crown all the way down to the floor, feeling the pressure of the ground against your crown. If this is comfortable, you can bring your hands to your sides. Breathe deeply here, feeling the pressure against your crown chakra. And slowly release to the ground, entering our Shavasana, which also helps us connect to the crown chakra. Melting into the ground, feeling one with the ground, with your surroundings, not feeling any differences to anything around you or to anyone around you. Being completely still, finding that balance between vibration and movement and stillness. Taking a couple more deep breaths here. Filling up your whole body with new oxygen, like a balloon and exhaling completely all that carbon dioxide, all that negativity out of your body. Really visualizing you breathing in positivity and exhaling any anything you want to release from your life from your energy while keeping the eyes closed We'll meet each other in a comfortable seat. <sighs> Feeling the energy and circulation rush back down through your body. <sighs> Taking a moment to visualize every chakra along your spine. The root chakra at the base, the muladhara, the sacral chakra right above, svadhisthana, solar plexus, manipura, heart chakra, anahata, throat chakra, visuddha, third eye, ajna, and the crown, Sahasrara. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple. Perfectly rotating spheres of energy along your spine, from your root to your crown. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the chakras. It's infinite knowledge out there. You can always learn more, ask many questions, and hear for everything. Thank you.